Well, hello, wonderful class. It is, uh, it is me, Mr. Miller. And uh, although I am not uh, here today, I am, I guess, technically here in video form. I just finished uh, the uh, Warrior Palooza, so sorry if the hair is a little messed up for this uh, particular video. Uh, first of all, I just want to thank Mr. Walton. I'm really, really happy that he's here. Uh, I, I hope that you, uh, as a class, uh, have an opportunity to learn today. So I, I know I, I thank Mr. Walton for being here, and I'm sure uh, you'll do the same uh, when you see him. All right, so you just finished the review. Now, the review is all good. Okay, if you didn't understand it, don't worry about it. But like I said before, we covered that for two days, and the way we roll is that after the first day, you don't have to get it. Because you can't learn everything instantly. Some things, they take time to learn. After the second day, all right, then you have to start taking some ownership of not knowing it. Okay? Because we're never going to spend another day where we just simplify radicals. Okay? We're always going to be adding them or multiplying them, never just simplifying them. So if you still need to learn it, that's all good. Just pay very close attention during the openers. Pay really close attention to when I'm adding because I'll still be... I'll still be simplifying things. So with that, let's start something new. And I'm actually really excited about this because I think you're going to get it. All right, I think you're going to enjoy it. So uh, turn to the new, or go to the new. Problem number one looks like this. 5 root 6 plus 2 root 6. Okay, so when we're adding, when we're adding radicals, it's pretty much the same as when we were adding variables. Watch, and I'm going to do this next one in red, right? This is a, a red marker here. I have 5x plus 2x, okay? And in a very similar way, these are like terms. So when you add them, you get 7x. These are also like terms, Radical 6 and radical 6 is like the x and the x. So when you add them, what happens is you take the number in front of the radical, 5 plus 2, it's 7, root 6. This is just algebra, people. You got this. You can do this. If anybody has any further questions, please rewind the video and listen to that explanation one more time. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to try problem number two on the new. So, uh, either maybe Mr. Walton or, or if we can have a trustworthy volunteer uh, come up and pause this video and take, I would say, a minute. Take a minute to try problem number two and then play the video and I'll go over the solution. All right? So right now, hit... Pause. Okay, unpause. Sweet. Um, problem number two. We have eight rad x minus three rad x. There's something wrong here. Hold on. There's something really wrong. Still got my jacket on. If I got my jacket on, that means I'm not serious. I'm time to get serious. All right. I would do a countdown, but I know right now you're all paying attention. There's no need. All right, we're doing too good today. Um, so look, 8 root x minus 3 root x. This is the same, because these are like terms. This ain't no different than if I said 8x minus 3x. 8x minus 3x, which is 5x, okay? You do the same thing. You got 8 minus 3, that gives you 5. You got your root x. You got yourself a problem. Now you're done. Simple as that. And simple may not be the right word. Sometimes I don't use the right word. But it is what it is. That's how you do the problem. So, let me do problem... Well, first of all, actually, pause it again. Try three and four. 
and then I'm going to cut and then hit play again because problem three and four has a slight twist, but first I want you to try it. So hit pause. And pause. All right. Um, problem number three. It starts just the way problems number one and two do. There's no difference in the way it starts. There's no difference. Look, 25 minus 15. That gives you 10. Root 12. Here's the difference. Am I done? Am I done? No! You should say, no, you're not done yet, Mr. Miller. Say, Mr. Walton, Mr. Miller's not done yet because this is not simplified. We got to start to see with our eyes and our minds what it means to be simplified. This root 12 can get a lot smaller. And I'm talking root 4 times root 3. That's what I'm talking about. Now, you know what root 4 is because 4 is a perfect square. 10 times 2, root 3. 10 times 2 is 20, root 3. My friends, my friends, that's the answer. 20 root 3, okay? Um, so the difference is that at the end, you just got to notice that it's not totally simplified, that you can't stop with that. You got to go there and there, okay? That's the only difference. That's, and it's the same with problem number four. Let me show you number four real quick. You got this written down? Uh, who cares? I mean, obviously, if you don't have it written down, you just rewind it. Or perhaps pause it. Uh, look, number four. Uh, we have negative 10 uh, root 20 minus uh, root 20. Now, we know there's a 1 there. We know that. We don't write it, but we know it. So negative 10 minus 1. Negative 10 minus 1. That's negative 10 subtract 1. It needs to get smaller. You're taking 1 away from negative 10. So negative 10 minus 1 is negative 11. I still got my root 20. Am I done? I said, am I done? No! Mr. Walton, Mr. Miller is not done. That's what you should be saying. Because this is not simplified yet. Let me simplify. You know what I actually love? I don't know if you'll do this. I don't know. I hope you do. I hope you pause the video right now. And one lovely volunteer, trustworthy volunteer, comes up and actually finishes this problem before I do. So I'm going to give you that opportunity right now to pause it. This is me pausing. All right. Uh, I, I hope that, that somebody attempted this. If you didn't, that's all good. I mean, I'm not, I'm not uh, hating on you for that, but I hope somebody did. So now what do we got here? We got that this is 4 times 5. Square root of 4, we know what that is. That's 2. Root 5. We almost done. Negative 11 times 2 is negative 22 root 5. Holler. That's the answer. It's just algebra, people. That's just so easy. Oh. Turn it over and try these problems on the back. I'm, I'm going to leave the solutions on the back with Mr. Walton. Uh, I'll let him take it from here. Uh, thank you for listening. Thank you for being amazing. Uh, I can't wait to see you all tomorrow. Uh, well, for I guess right now it's two days from now. Um, take care.